All right, hi everyone. So on Black Friday, there were fabric sales and the this kind of fabric was um on clear or it had a Black Friday deal for like two thirty nine a yard, two dollars and thirty nine cents a yard. So I got four yards of each of these fabrics and I want to make pinafores out of them. I also got this cat one, which I think I also might be making a pinafore with. It's so cute. Look at the kitten. Look at the nose. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be doing this one yet. I want to do um, Christmassy outfits. So I think I'm gonna start with this green and red plaid fabric. Um, don't come for me on the technical names because I know there's different names for different patterns. Um, and I haven't memorized those yet. Anyways. <laughs> so I think I want to do um, a simple, more like a rectangle skirt for this pinafore. Because the um, pattern is straight. So I kind of want to just gather it to the like front bib, I guess you might call it. Or pinafore front and um, it'll be straight and I might look at this and see how it looks if I did it as a circle skirt for the red one so I might make two different versions so one would have a rectangle skirt and maybe one being a circular skirt like the red one circular this one gathered so that's my basic idea all right here is um, my very poor drawing but um, to show you kind of a visual representation of the difference, the circular skirt would kind of fit more smoothly over the hips. It wouldn't have all of the gathers at the waist, and then um, the gathered one would, of course, have gathers, which would also add bulk at the waist, but um, they're just two different looks. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll see which one we like better. I just jotted down the measurements I would need for this real quick. So um, for the bib front, um, you can go by apex to apex, which is kind of like the peak of the bust to peak of the bust. So um, like a line where you would want that, how wide it should be, and then from there to the waist point. And then um, you need to do your waist measurement. And then um, from your waist, how long you want the skirt to be. So those are the four basic measurements that you need for a pinafore. Things like straps and stuff can usually be um, adjusted, so I'm not really going to do that. But those are the basic body measurements that I'm going to use. Also, I'm going to be starting with the gathered pinafore. So um, the, the width of the skirt panel can um, be adjustable. Um, just to keep in mind, the wider of the fabric piece that you do use, the more gathering and bulk will be at the waist. Um, and then uh, if you lose, I mean, if you use less, it won't be as bulky, but then the skirt also won't be as poofy, um, voluminous. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I might do double my waist measurement i'm not sure we'll see i'm just going to kind of play with it i'm not using like hard specific measurements for that um so we'll see my idea for the closures at the back are buttons i think that would be kind of cute um so i think i'm going to do buttons i don't know what ones i'm going to use i do have jars of old buttons so um i might look through there and see if there's anything that I like to go with this green and red and white and yellow. It's a lot of nice Christmassy colors packed into one plaid like fabric.
the front bit part cut out and pinned together. I might sew around this after I do the skirt so that I could sort of see if I need to add any shaping to it. But I think I'm going to do the skirt first um, and the waistband and then I'll see if this needs to be, um, ha I s I'll see if this needs to have darks added to it um, for contouring to my shape because sometimes when they're flat they don't fit kind of right if you're, you have a large bust so we'll figure this out later but I have it set aside. I cut this to be 10 by 10 um, so that there's seam allowance and everything um, but my original measurement that I took would be that it would need to be about eight and a half inches wide and also the same height so um, it's basically a square. So I have done the waistband. Um, I clipped it into place and I tried to carefully line up all of the little lines and so that I can keep this straight and have the lines lined up, I think I'm going to sew it by hand. I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, sew it up by hand and um, yeah, so that the lines will be matched up. Okay, several hours later and many distractions, um, I have the waistband done and it looks perfectly lined up because on this side, I made sure I matched up each little line. And I sewed this by hand. It doesn't have to look pretty. It's on the inside. It's fine. It's fine. The lines match up though, which is very pleasing. You know, sometimes you even switch the colors of thread just because one color is closer than the other. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, my waistband is done. I basically just need to cut out a rectangle of fabric and gather it up and sew it onto the waistband. Okay, so I have a length of fabric cut out for the skirt. So it's fairly wide um, and long. I want it to be um, about mid calf length. So I want it to be kind of a longish skirt, but like not too long. Um, so what I'm going to do now is hem the edges. I think it would be easier just to do it now before I gather it up. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hem all four edges, I think, just so that it'll be easier. Okay, um, just real quick for the side edges, because I want to have button closures, I want the um, edges to be sort of thick just to have more stability for the buttons to hold on. So I'll probably be folding it in about a half inch or so and then fold it again just so that there's like a nice base for the buttons to be able to button and it'll be a little bit more sturdy having a kind of a thick base to work with on the sides. going to show this real quick. This is the bottom hem turned in where I want it to be the correct length at. So it's about mid-calf. Um, I just kind of picked a line that was kind of mid-calf when I held it up to myself and went with that all the way along the bottom and pinned it up. And um, I'm not sure if I want to sew a stitch along here as it is or if I want to tuck it in yet. Um, I might just do this and um, the great thing about this is maybe later in the future someone wants to wear this but they want it to be longer. There is a whole like thick piece right at the bottom that you can let out. 
So, um, you know, it is adjustable for future generations if anyone wears this other than me. <laughs> um, so, that's where we are. I have this pinned all along. I think I'm just going to sew a straight line across this edge. Um, just so the bottom will be done. And all we have to do is gather this and attach it to the waistband, which is right here. Okay, so I did the gathering line a little bit low. Um, but we're just going to keep moving on. I didn't do two rows just because I don't feel like it. But anyways, I have the waistband pinned to the top of the skirt all the way to the end. Um, and I'm just going to top stitch, um, along the waistband to attach it with, um, red thread on the outside. We have a skirt! Uh, sorry I didn't really film it, but um, I top stitched the waistband on the top of the skirt panel and it's done! Like the skirt is almost done. I just basically need to kind of do buttons and then um, of course sew up a middle seam um, where the buttons don't close so that it's closed. But um, I'm so close to being done with this, then I'll just need to attach the little uh, bib, bib front thing, and then um, of course do straps. Um, so this is going to be so cute, I'm excited. Alright, so I looked through my buttons and I'm trying to decide between these kind of a pinkish red pale buttons or these kind of brassy metal buttons. I think I'm leading towards the brass colored ones. Um, I'm gonna see what my husband thinks. bib part together and now for the opening where so that I could turn this right side out um, I'm just going to clip this closed and we're gonna do a little line of stitching just to close that up want you guys to appreciate the pattern matching from the bib front to the waistband um yeah so um now it is a little bit off for the skirt panel but you know we just have to appreciate the things we do do <laughs> look at it's lined up perfectly So the pinafore is almost done now. I just need to make the straps. And I think I will just make this pinafore in this video and then in the next one I'll try doing the red one. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn these into straps and then we'll be done. <laughs> 